Hey guys, it's Stephen and Phil here, back with another video on footy.com. And today, as promised in yesterday's Barcelona 4 kit video, we've got Germany's uh, crazy new Euro 2020 home shirt. Of course, all the kits dropped when I was off exploring New York on holiday. But I'm back now, so Phil and I have decided to dive into the world of Euro 2020 shirts. And there's so many coming up in the future, not just mm. today's Germany shirt. We've got Spain, we've got Wales, we've got Italy. I mean, not yeah. all, they all might not be at Euro 2020, but they're all released for that window, of course. So make sure you hit that subscribe button if you don't want to miss this single kick video because there's going to be so many over the next couple of weeks mm. but today is the turn uh, the turn sorry of Germany um, they've gone bold with this shirt it's different um, and we got initial reactions were quite muted but it kind of has grown as we've seen some nicer press pictures but mm. I'm going to hand you over to Mr Phil Dells uh, and get his initial thoughts on this 2020 home shirt for Germany yeah I must say uh, this one has grown to me since we talked about it I yeah. I'm still, you know, not in love with the shirt. It's certainly not one of the best shirts I've seen, from my opinion. But I must say, and I give credit to Adidas, you know, we've, we've said before, when you see the press release pictures, sometimes stuff does look better. I'm going to give them credit for doing something that I've wanted them to do. Getting rid of the stripes off the shoulders. <laughs> uh, they've actually done that um, and it feels in result it feels relatively unique for a recent sure, Adidas shirt sure, yeah. and I, I quite enjoy the fact that it does look like a step away from their templates well the other big thing which is a change because not only is it on the sides and we have seen it once or twice on the sides but it is different this year yeah. for the first time um, in that they're actually sort of cut off on the player issue ones at least and you'll see on some of the pictures here um, they, they sort of start and end kind of you know inside the shirt if you like it's not just a continuous running yeah. down and through steps and I really like that I do think it looks yeah, just a bit different it's something you know which we've not seen for a long time a as you say boxed off stripe thing yeah, yeah cool. and as I say you only use it in the player issue for the replica ones I believe it's a bit more like we've seen before but it is a nice change I have to draw attention to the crest which I think looks class oh, yeah. I think it looks really nice uh, one of the good, better crests yeah I think it looks good and the little stars have a nice weight to them you know mm. like a uh, they're on the back of the neck as well and they, they've, yep. got, they've got a shadow like because the of that substantial. Yeah. You know, I love the fact that they are tangible. You can probably grab them and they'll feel mm -hmm. all nice and stuff like that. Um, yeah. I don't like, I actually don't, they, just, they don't work for me, the cuffs, personally. Um, no. I, I think, know I'm wearing a stripy top, so I should have been. Well, they're, they're an they're interesting thing to talk about. I think, yeah, so the cuffs and obviously any of their shirts, we'll, uh, we'll go into more detail specifically for each team. There's, there's a lot of emphasis on cuffs. So pretty much every team has got something going on. This one is quite patriotic with the flag. Um, I agree, it's not quite right. I think for me, something about, well, two things really, the balance of the of the various colours. So because the gold one is a lot thinner. It's the return, it, by the way, of black, red and gold on the sleeves apparently. So it's the return. Okay, that's interesting. That. I'm trying to think of previous, but we'll, we'll have to find out. But yeah, some. yeah. But yeah, I think just the fact the gold bit is a bit thinner. Now I'm not saying it needed to be the same thickness because that would be very chunky, but I, I don't know. I'd, something about that being different to the other two just kind of bugs my OCD a bit because yeah. of course on the flag is equal but that, that's a, a small matter I think just the, the pattern as well the texture it kind of carries on and you can see that it's sort of a hand drawn thing again a bit like the, the lines on the shirt that so apparently I, is about inclusivity because uh, really yeah like I just read something oh some wow I didn't, I didn't. Uh, the dynamic lines in the flag detail oh sorry that represent the diverse background of German players and fans <laughs> Oh, uh, celebrate the notions of togetherness and inclusivity that the country I mean, prides itself on and given the fact that it's an inclusive tournament of all so, these teams you're coming together to I, share see these... I think the motive is great I have no idea how that comes through with the it's, lines it's marked but, bullshit but anyway yeah, yeah. but I, I think just in general though Germany kits are I mean Germany one of those teams they've got good value really across pretty much any kit because they've got a very iconic um, yeah. aesthetic in terms of the white and black um yeah, and actually this one, I think for most other teams, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be buying it. This one's got enough. I feel like this is going to age really well. Yeah, I feel like people will really yep. will like now they'll be like, oh yeah, it's okay. I think it's a good shirt. I don't mm. think it's, I think it's nice than we initially thought, which I think it is. Mm. As a result, I think in twenty years people will go, oh, do you remember the the uh, the, the twenty twenty shirt? Because <laughs> it's got such. Also, by the way, anything with the title twenty twenty is going to be a lot easier <laughs> to sell because twenty twenty sounds really cool. It does sound good. Uh, so like the, the twenty twenty <laughs> shirts were like, oh, the iconic Germany twenty twenty one. If they do well. I just feel people look back and go, oh, that was pretty cool, that mm. one. And people like yourself will be buying it oversized. The yep. young Phil Dells will be buying it in yeah. 10 years from now, ironically, <laughs> as a retro shirt yeah. and enjoy it maybe. But Indeed. it isn't perfect, but it's a good shirt. And I'm going to ask you to give it a little summary and a score. That's all right, so. Of course, yeah. Yeah, this one, I think, as I say, if we'd have reviewed it or given it a score, did we give it a score in the last video? I can't no, remember. I don't think we did. I don't think we did. Probably a good thing because it would have been a lot lower. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's it's not my favourite shirt. The lines as a pattern I don't love, but I think they have done a reasonable job. Um, and it's hard to put it too low. I think 
There's a lot of personal taste going into this. It's probably in the 70s. It's, it's I would not, say 70s. It's not going to be. It's not going to be too it's high. High 70s for me, but I understand if you went lower. Yeah, I'd, I was thinking more sort of 72. Okay. It sounds quite low, but I think actually, you know, that, that's not. It's not necessarily an objectively bad shirt. I think it's a good um, idea. Done not not too well. Like I think it could be better. Yeah. I think actually, I just quite I quite like the idea of the stripes. Well, one, the, one of my favorite, just quickly, one of my favorite international shirts of kind of recent years, and it was going okay, back about ten years, was when France did a, their very famous. Pinstripe um, one. Yeah, yeah, Breton, yeah, the Breton, yeah, yeah, yeah. inspired one. And that one, I mean, it made a lot of sense for France. It was, you know, had a lot of design influence. And it, it was, it's gone down as one of the most memorable kits of this decade, actually. And I think, you know, it's sort of like this one borrows a similar idea, but of course, because it doesn't have quite as much meaning and it's not quite as nice as that shirt. Um, but it does give me shades of that one. And yeah, if, yeah. You, if you're going to have a little reference to a shit, it might as well be a good one. So yeah, no, this is not a bad shirt. So a 72, did you say? 72, yeah. It's not a bad effort at all from Jeremy Adidas. I do personally like the fact that it feels creative, so I'll give him that. It does feel a little bit different, but it isn't perfect. But let us know if you disagree or agree in the comments below as ever. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Go and check out as well yesterday's video, which is Barcelona's blood-inspired forking. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> yeah. It is about the fallen soldier and blood. It's it's heavy stuff, but it's an interesting <laughs> shirt. And tomorrow, uh, as promised, we'll have Spain's new home kit as well. And there'll be loads more after that, so make sure you hit the subscribe button. For now, I've been Stephen, this is Phil, and we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm.